everyone this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings I'm just here to pop down our card for the day a little bit earlier today than normal um, so let's have a little look and see what the black and white Faulkner deck has got in store for us today let's see what we've got okay lovely so our card for the day from the black and white Faulkner deck is the ace of swords now the ace of swords is a really lovely card it talks about new beginnings it talks about new ideas um it kind of talks about i always think of it as the sword of truth it's it's kind of like the excalibur all of those kind of things you know that that sword of truth it's a you know, it's quite a common occurrence in stories and uh, myths, legends, all of that kind of thing that we have this this sword that is, you know, going to going to bring forth the truth. Um, so in terms of an energy for the day, it really does talk about that. It talks about being able to say what you want to say, being able to communicate your truth to others, um, you know, being able to be truthful and genuine and honest with yourself. Now, I don't know whether you can see particularly clearly. Um, it looks like you can from what I'm looking at on my camera here. Um, if you look underneath the skydive in person or people, um, you'll be able to see like a trail of um, a kind of um, clouds or it's like a plane trail or something. It's just here. Okay. So today, really clearly, that looks like a heart to me. Okay, some days it doesn't look so much like a heart. It just kind of looks like sh like shadow. Um, but today it's really jumping out as, as like a heart to me. So this can be saying that you are going to speak about getting to the heart of the matter. It could be to do with love, speaking your truth, expressing your love for someone. So whatever way around that is today it feels like that's important so it feels like there are words to be spoken in in connection with love um today it also i would say if you are in a position where you are waiting for contact from someone um or you are thinking about contacting someone these are this is a really good card for contact it does suggest clearly that there will be communication words of love will be spoken is what i'm being given at the moment so the ace of swords is all about that it's all about being able to express yourself being able to speak your truth you know if you've been really not able to express yourself you know you've really felt something for somebody and you haven't been able to tell them today is giving you the energy to be able to do that if that's what you wish to do so it's a really really good it's a card of honesty it's a card of truth card of expressing yourself so it's a really really good energy today of new beginnings you know it's very appropriate for a monday new starts new beginnings new ideas all of that kind of energy comes in with this ace of swords but it fundamentally for me other than the newness because there's a lot of new beginnings cards in the tarot lots of them this one talks about communication and it talks about the truth so you know this might be you making a fresh start and really saying that you are going to say it as it is from now on. You're going to speak your mind. You're going to speak your truth. So let me just have a little shuffle of the Mystic Shaman deck. And see what we get to go with this today. Let's have a little look and see. So, I can get them apart. Okay, so interestingly, we have the staff with the Ace of Swords for the Mystic Shaman. Now, again, this is a card that I've not drawn before, so I've not worked with this with you guys um, here. So, the staff, to me, see, to me, that looks a bit like a giraffe. Um so I don't know I'll leave that where it is whatever that might mean but then you've got the top of it which kind of looks a bit like a stag 
so i've kind of i'm kind of picking up a little bit of sort of animal energy around this as well so what i would say to you is the staff um to me when i'm looking at it would be a kind of something that assists you something that is strong if you think about um like a walking stick or something like that that's something that helps you on your way you know it's kind of giving you support um it's a powerful um a powerful thing something that is strong something that you can lean on something you can depend on so that would be what it would be saying to me i do feel like that really looks like a like a giraffe um but it's you know with horns like bigger horns because i know they have little horns but there's a lot going on in this picture because this is like um this like a hand here that's that's holding on to it so let's have a look and see what colette baron reed says about this in her guidebook um and see what that what that gels with what i'm looking at and see what it's all about okay so she says the essence of this card is it's a symbol of authority and it holds power to temper extremes the staff helps you find the right course of action so it is it's a helper it's something that is supporting you it aids you to maintain your balance as you begin walking in that direction so again it's a bit like the walking stick um okay so Again, it's saying here that Moses carried a serpent staff to through the desert, um, with and with it he could summon the power of nature to heal or or call plagues. So, again, you, the, you know the animals are showing up to me in there. So it's a, it's again this connection with nature. Okay, staff reminds you of the impermanent impermanence of all things, and that your authority must come from your deep longing to serve. Okay, so it's it's kind of saying to you you know use your power wisely really um so it says in the invitation you know how to flow easily between polarities how to weigh all the possibilities and instinctively select the right path trust your inner wisdom to take the first step on a journey that your heart has already embarked on use the power of the staff to unite what appears to be divided and to find that balance between will and surrender okay so it it kind of is it is a support um that's what i feel more strongly than anything else with this is to be in that place where you feel like you're supported and 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 also you know when you look at the ace of wands in the tarot deck which is not dissimilar to this in terms of imagery um it talks about that power you know it talks about passion um and it talks about new beginnings, new journeys. So it's very similar in terms of the imagery. Um, but the staff tends is tending to be talking about, you know, this kind of support, this kind of rock, this this strength, this inner strength. Um, so that's kind of what she was saying there um, about that kind of inner, your inner wisdom, your inner strength. You know, when you talk about somebody who's got a really good powerful you know they've got that kind of backbone this is a bit like that you know it's, it's about being able to trust that inner, inner wisdom and and you know take that first step so it's a beginning card again so we are all about new beginnings today all about new energy and um moving forward so we've got the ace of swords which is all about this truth this again a little bit of inner wisdom and stuff going on in there um this truth and this ability to express and communicate that and then we've got this staff which is kind of the inner wisdom that's helping us on our way i will leave that for now and i will be back again tomorrow so have a really really good day and i'll speak to you tomorrow bye for now